Today is the best day. Do you see it? Woo! There is no better feeling than when this shows up at your door. And if you don't know what this is, I'm gonna tell ya. Hello my honeys, it's Emmy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Emmy. I'm a nutritionist and the creator of the Slim on Starch program where you work with me as well as a mindset coach and a nutrition coach so that you can thrive on a starch-based, plant-based diet and lose weight. So if you're interested in working with me on a one-on-one -on -one basis, then go to healthyemmy.org or click the link in the down bar. Also make sure that you hit subscribe because it is potato diet series time. So if you want to stay up to date on what I'm eating, I am eating a thousand percent potatoes and that's what we're going to be talking about in this video, then make sure that you are subscribed. If you don't know, I'm only eating potatoes for at least 30 days, but honestly, I've been doing this for like six years at this point. But anyway, watch this video if you haven't seen this video yet. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you all of the different types of potatoes that I'm gonna be eating. This is a potato haul. So, this here box came today and it is always so exciting when this comes in the mail. But I wanted to open it like the second it came, I was so excited and I was like, <gasps> I want to open it and then I was like no I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna do it with my honeys these are my my Hawaiian sweet potatoes and so this is the 20 pound box they only had the fingerling size but whatever I'll take it I'd rather have the big ones so I can have a nice big Hawaiian sweet potato but these are the Hawaiian sweet potatoes. They're still cold because they've been outside in Massachusetts, but they traveled all the way from Hawaii. So, okay, I was just so excited to open that that I didn't even explain that. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys all of the different types of potatoes that I'm gonna be eating while I'm on this all potato diet. And I'm gonna go from my most favorite to my least favorite, if you can even say that, because they're all amazing. But I wanna show you all of the different types of potatoes that you can get your hands on. Um, if you are doing OPAD, I want you to eat at least one potato a day in addition to what you always eat. Hashtag OPAD and tag me on Instagram at Healthy Emmy. So these are all the potatoes that I'm going to be eating. So this is a huge 20 pound box of Hawaiian sweet potatoes and I get these from hawaiiveggiefarm.com and you can get some from hawaiiveggiefarm.com and use the discount code ME5. Now, these are purple on the inside. So they are this just, they look like a normal potato on the outside, but then when you bake them or if you just cut them open right now, you'll see they are this beautiful, gorgeous, breathtaking, deep purple and the sweetest thing that you'll ever eat in your entire life. Now, I have been doing a little bit of researching lately because Chef AJ is having me on her show tomorrow, actually, but by the time this video is up, you'll have already seen it. And I'm gonna be debuting all of the different ways that I cook potatoes. And so I've been doing some research. And so I'm gonna try a new method for cooking these bad boys. And let's, uh, let's try that out now. Okay, do you guys wanna hear something funny? I bought this little casserole dish from Amazon thinking it was gonna be like a billion times bigger and like, it's the smallest thing in the world. <laughs> so I have a few of these little fingerling Hawaiians and you can't really see, but there is some water in the bottom. There you go. You can see there's some water in there and I'm going to put on the lid and believe it or not, I am cooking these puppies at 275. Yes, that low. This is what I've read on the interwebs is that low and slow for these guys is a magical experience. And so I'm really excited to try out all these different cooking methods. So I'm going to pop these puppies into the oven and we'll see how they come out. They said it might even be longer than this, but we'll see how this goes. So how this comes out, watch until the end of the video, because at the end of the video, 
these guys got to cook for like two hours. So at the end of the video, I will show you how they came out. So stay tuned for that. So my favorite way to cook these puppies is, is to bake them whole in the oven and then to top them with cinnamon. This is the most life-changing potato on the face of the earth. You have not had a sweet potato until you've had a Hawaiian sweet potato. So definitely go to Hawaii Veggie Farm and buy yourself one of these big boxes. I often get asked how long they will last for. So they say that they last for about three weeks. If you, if you have trouble eating all of them in three weeks, which mine are gone in like two hours, but if you have trouble having them last for three weeks, what you can always, always, always do is bake them in bulk. So bake up the, the entire box and these freeze extremely well. So you're gonna bake them all up as if you're about to eat this entire box. And then you can just put them right into the freezer. You actually don't even have to cover them, but if you wanna be safe, you can put them into a freezer safe bag. But I've literally thrown these into the freezer before, and then you can just pop them back into the microwave and they will, in, within two minutes, they'll be good as new. So these are the ones that I'm so excited about. I'm gonna be eating a lot of these bad boys. Um, so I will bake these in the oven. My next favorite choice of potato is the gold slash yellow potato. Though I wish I could juggle, but I can't. That didn't work. <laughs> Healthy dad can juggle. Does that surprise you? I, can, I can't juggle. I can only do this, which that is not juggling. So in any event, the way that I like to cook these guys is I like to turn these into fries and I will put these in my air fryer. I'm gonna do another video where I actually show you the cooking method that I use for all these different types of potatoes. Today, I'm just gonna be going through all the different potato types, and then in another video, I'm gonna be showing you all the cooking methods. So what I do with these guys, the yellow potatoes, the gold potatoes, is I put them in my air fryer. I just cut them up, I'll rest them in water, and then put them in the air fryer and press the chips button. And what I really like about the gold potatoes is that they're creamier. What I don't love about the russet potatoes is they're very dry and starchy and floury. And these guys are a little bit more creamy and they're just absolutely delicious. They're a little bit sweet. So I love yellow slash gold potatoes. These are like my number two. And the way that I eat these is I'll take lettuce. So I will put them in the air fryer, bake them, and then I wrap iceberg lettuce around the potato fry. It's life-changing. Let me show you what these guys look like cooked. Fresh out of the air fryer, how good do these goldies look? Next we have a classic, and this is the JSP, the Japanese sweet potato. So you can get these at Whole Foods. If you go to Trader Joe's, they are called the Murasaki sweet potatoes. If you live in Australia, I have seen these at Kohl's. Um, and I would see them at the markets sometimes. So the way that I cook these guys is I bake them whole in the oven and then top them with cinnamon and they have a very sweet, nutty flavor to them. And oh my gosh, they are so good. The difference between the Hawaiians versus the Japanese is that the Hawaiians are gonna be a little bit more cakey and dense and these are just nutty and fluffier, if you will. So these are 11 out of 10. If you've never had a JSP, then I don't know what you're doing. Okay, then honestly, I've been liking these more than I've been liking the, the Japanese lately. And these are the Hannah Yams. You also will, will find them called white sweet potatoes or Jersey Whites. And the way that I cook these is I bake these whole in the oven. Something about them, they are just so unbelievably sweet. They're, mo they're the most moist, so they're extremely gooey. That's the best way to describe them, is they're very moist and gooey. And when I put cinnamon on them, cinnamon goes on all of my potatoes, with the exception of the gold potatoes. It reminds me of soggy French toast in the best way possible. So the Hannah Yams, 11 out of 10, and you can get these at Whole Foods. I've seen them at Wegmans, labeled as the Jersey White. Anywhere else that you have seen them, leave them in the comments below. Okay, next, which you can't see, 
So I'll bring it into focus is the russet potato, which honestly is not my favorite potato. The only reason why I even have these is because I was trying out different cooking methods to be on Chef AJ's show. And one of the cooking methods that I wanted to try out was with the russet. So I'll bake these into fries. I feel as though these are the classic potatoes used for baked potatoes, but I'm not a huge baked potato gal because they're really, you know, starchy and floury and that's a pleasant experience for those that enjoy a baked potato. So if you like baked potatoes, these are probably the best ones to get. I am not a huge fan of these, but I'll eat them. I'll eat anything that has the word potato in it. All right, we got a couple more. The baby creamers, and the best way to have creamers is to boil these because then they stay nice and creamy. And actually, if you boil potatoes, studies show that that is the most satisfying, satiating food on the planet. You will feel the most full after you have boiled white potatoes. These are technically baby gold, so these are technically boiled gold potatoes and not boiled white potatoes, but same difference. They are extremely satisfying, satiating, and filling. And then not by choice, I have the Stokes purple potatoes. Maybe you guys can tell me how you like to cook these guys because to me, these are not sweet. They're just not. These were given to me accidentally by my Instacart shopper. It said I was buying these guys and then the guy brought me these ones. So I have these ones now. So let me know how you like to cook the, the Stokes purple. I don't find them sweet. These are sweet. Japanese are sweet. Hannah yams are sweet. To me, these don't taste sweet at all, really. But maybe I don't know. I need to give them a fair shot. So we got these guys too. Let me know in the comments how you like to cook these guys. Um, and now let's get into, and I'm curious to find out because I don't know, how did these guys turn out with my new cooking method? Let's see. Okay, so to be honest with you guys, if you want to have your potatoes steamed, then go for it. But this was basically a steaming method. This is not as good as when the potatoes are baked and they get nice and gooey. This is a little bit more spongy and the taste is not as flavorful. So this is how it came out. You know, obviously it's edible, but it's definitely, it does not, it doesn't do the Hawaiian sweet potato justice. So it works. And it's probably a very safe method and keeps a lot of the water intact, but it's not the most delicious. I am going to be consuming a few other things. So I'm not just gonna be consuming potatoes. I'm also gonna be consuming vitamin B12. Honestly, this is just a random vitamin B12 that I got from Whole Foods. So I'm gonna be taking this because if you are on a plant-based diet, and even if you're not on a plant-based diet, uh, supplementing vitamin B12 is a very smart thing to do. If you're on a plant-based diet, then it's kind of a non-negotiable because we can't get vitamin B12 from a plant-based diet. The reason why is that back in the day, way, way back in the day, before modern sanitization, the bacteria where you would get your B12 from would be found in the soil and it would be found in the streams. And if you, you know, picked up an apple that had fallen onto the ground and it was in the dirt and you ate it, or you picked a carrot out of the soil and you ate it, there would be vitamin B12 on it. But due to modern sanitization, that's no longer the case. So gotta make sure that you supplement vitamin B12. The other thing that I always supplement is uh, kelp flakes because these are a source of iodine. And the way that I take these is, I just brush my teeth, so I'm not gonna take these right now, but I treat myself like a fish and I just take a little bit like fish food and that's how I make sure that I get iodine. So that's something that I always do and I'm not gonna compromise on. Um, it's very important to make sure that you do have a source of iodine, especially if you're a woman for thyroid function is where your thyroid is, that's why I pointed right there. Um, so I am gonna be taking some iodine. And then two other things that I will be consuming are my beloved cinnamon. So I always put cinnamon onto my sweet potatoes. It is just, it's an amazing experience. If you haven't tried it, you gotta try it. And then I'm also gonna be having iceberg lettuce because this is how I eat my potato fries is I wrap the potato fries into the lettuce. So full transparency, I wanted to be 100% honest and real and show you exactly what I'm having and this is it. Like you have my word, sister, this is it. Is this even the right thing for me to be doing if I'm like being honest? What is Bear doing? 
clearly I got things to take care of. If you are still watching the video, then I want you to comment sisterhood. Comment sisterhood if you're still watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. And make sure to tag me in your OPAD. When you have a potato for me, tag me at Healthy Annie.